hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. I don't know why I just picked up my uh, fake British cat dictionary guy accent, but it just happened. That's, that, that happens. And um, anybody who uh, has been around since the days of the Twitch stream will know this song. Drinking coffee makes me happy. Dum, 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 dum. Drinking coffee makes me happy. Mmm. Coffee. Yes, I will tell you exactly what this is. All right, I, I got to bring the chat all the way up. Down. Oh, my God. Lots of chat going on today, which makes me happy as well. Um, what doesn't make me happy is that, Michael, I'm getting old, and that doesn't make me happy. But uh, my, it, as I get older, my glasses don't work here. So I'm going to have to take them off in order to read all your wonderful comments. So let's do that. Yeah, baby. Look at look at us from all over the world. Hello to Denmark. Hello to Italy. Hello to Germany. Hello to Ohio. Um, hello to Colombia. Um, uh, I'm really happy. And Belgium. I got to do this. I just love doing it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> who, just said, who just said I'm the cat dad of the world? I'll take it. New York, New Hampshire, France, Kentucky, Wisconsin. Hello, yes to Canada. Um, thank you, S. Ansel, for becoming a member. If you guys don't know, I'm just going to lead off with this. Um, uh, this is a live stream that we're going to do every month. Now, we have a brand new um, club called the Mojo Knots, which if you, if you, and by the way, if you're not subscribed on YouTube, come on. Um, but right next to the subscribe button is the join button and you can join up. And uh, as a Mojo Knot, you're going to get bonus footage uh, from our uh, weekly videos, uh, outtakes, uh, behind the scenes. Uh, we have um, YouTube um uh, uh, community posts that are only for Mojo Knots. We have a Discord channel that we're just getting going. I mean, it's already there, but that's private just for Mojo Knots. Then if you're a mega Mojo Knot, we have a private chat every month, um, meaning a live stream. And it's a lot more intimate. Um, just So that's there as well. There it is. Up there. Join us right meow. Um uh, so asexual atheist, um, that's a name. Uh, thank you so much for the super chat. And, uh, I, I do have a video about the first aid kit and that's a great point. Anyway, I will get to all that, but thank you for the super chat. Thank you for becoming a member. Thank you guys for being here so much. Um, more coffee. This right here. And oh, let's let's shout them out for kids in Atlanta. Um, wonderful organization there. Um, so uh, this is an oat milk latte with four shots of uh, wonderful espresso. Anyway, um, oh, Eric the Guapo. Hey, I recently got a new kitten to keep my senior cat company. But it's, aw. Mm -mm. So glad to help you guys. First of all, you know what? Let me lead off with this because we're talking today about how to save your cat's life. Um, and uh, up on YouTube a community, we put up a, po a poll and the poll says before my life. Oh, well, the, 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 um, what do you do when there's something wrong with your cat? Do you Google call your vet? Monitor closely, watch one of my videos. What I will say is watch one of my videos is at 2% with uh, 25,000 plus votes. Um, well, I'm going to take that personally. It's all good by me. <laughs> um, but uh, I would like you to go, if you haven't gone yet, go to the YouTube channel and vote. Because I want to get as many votes as possible. Because that's very important to today's stream. So I will check back in with you. Um, and so <laughs> Jenna knows. Uh, so anyway, little Miss Betty Page is up. Thank you so much for your live chat. We have another member that just joined up. Um, and I need 
Lindsay, help me out here. I, 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 I don't know. I want to say hi to our super chatters and our new members. Thank you for signing up to be a Mojo Knot. Okay, here we go. Betty Page. Oh, no, no. Little Miss Betty Page. Oh, that's a that's a great point, Betty. And, and by the way, um, the Jackson Galaxy Project, if you've never heard of it, kicks serious ass. We do a lot of work uh, for um, for cats in shelters and around the world. And uh, Greater Good Charities, who we are a part of, um, does exactly what you're talking about, Betty, where um, uh, Greater Good is on the front lines right now in Ukraine and in Poland um, and Moldova and setting up uh, base camps that help people and also help their animals. And not to specifically uh, about the soldiers, but um, I just thought you might want to know that. Uh, thank you so much, Tish Ramirez, Tara Mann, signing up to be a mojo, not Candace. Candace, thank you, Candace. And... Um, yeah, and from that point on, you've got a special green line in the chat, too. Karen White also becomes a member. Thank you so much. And by the way, um, so you guys know, um, you know, sometimes you get the, wait, you're going to charge for that? Whatever. Uh, I will say this. Um, me, Lindsay, who's on here, Alex, who does all the, the editing of our wonderful videos, uh, we have a staff. we got to pay people in order to make this happen. Uh, so, um, you know. It's it's important. Uh, S. Ansel, we try to keep out DoorDash. I thought your cat's name was DoorDash for a second, which actually would be amazing. I had, <laughs> I did have a friend when I was in grad school whose cat was named uh, Runaway because he just would run away every time you came up to him. Uh, Arnes Vieska, Vieska, Kaya, Arnes, Arnes Kaya. My cat boys, Phoenix and Han Solo, are watching you too. Well, hopefully I don't scare them away. I could play guitar and scare the hell out of every cat in the room. Uh, Christine Roberts, thank you so much for joining up. Um, yes, I will be calling you guys out one by one as we go along here because uh, I want to. Uh, and I am watching the other. Thank you, Jules from England, for being there. And welcome to all the Facebookers out there. Um, oh, hello from Christchurch in, in New Zealand. That's my soft spot. Spain and, uh, and, and New Zealand are my soft spots, meaning I would instantly live in either one of those places. So, you know, but I think I'd have to be related to you in, in order to be allowed into New Zealand. They know what they got going on over there. And they're not letting anybody <laughs> in. And hello to Bulgaria, Crystal. And Julie from Iowa, mentioning my, my grad school, went to University of Iowa. Um, and uh, what was that? What was that super? Okay. Woo! Thank you, loving my high-maintenance life. Speaking of high-maintenance lives. And, uh, uh, and Beverly Lee for your super chat. Oh, you guys are so great. Thank you so much. What, someone just mentioned TNR up there. Who just mentioned TNR? And there's Portugal in the house as well. Um, Teresa Price with a super sticker. Thank you. Um, who, there it is. Who is that? Brenda Hearn. I'm a TNR person in South Georgia. You go, Brenda Hearn. That's, that's, a, that's a place to be doing some TNR. Um, Sierra Hunt, thank you for becoming a member so much. Yeah, yeah. if you guys don't know what TNR is, Trap New to Return, the most humane uh, and effective way to control the community cat problem that we're all experiencing. Her Q rock. Right on, man. Thank you so much for saying that. Um, I was at an event last night and somebody came up to me and, and just wanted to tell me that they uh, fostered because of this community and uh, just adopted out their, their foster kids and how happy they were. Makes it all worth it, man. It's amazing. Um, anyway, pay, uh, Pegs Browning, thank you. Um, so, uh, and I will continue to call you out. Angela Buds, thank you so very much. Um, but uh, what I do, uh, and Karis for becoming a member, um, and Sarah Davies becoming a member. I feel like I'm doing like the telethon, like the PBS fundraiser. Um, anyway, 
So uh, today um, we are going to be talking about how to save a cat's life. Now, I know that sounds very broad. Um, I'm going to start with a... Um, I'm going to start with it. You know what, Lindsay, I have a request for you. Let me do this. And uh, if you could just be collecting up the super chats and the members, we'll call them out um, as soon as I'm uh, done here with my story. So I want to tell you a story. And please, this is not meant to be morbid. Um, this is more a story of learning. Um, and I, you know, I don't know how many of you guys can relate to what I'm saying, but I imagine a fair amount of you have experienced things like this. Um, and based on the fact that there were, I'm going to check that poll one more time before I start this. But based on um, 25,000 plus votes on, um, what am I dumb here? I, that I don't know. There we go. Um, that came in on this poll, uh, I would say that a lot of you have gone through what I'm about to talk about. Um, and I am just going to, you know, this is what we get for, here we go. Yeah. Um, okay. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys, by the way, uh, in this poll, Again, asking, uh, what do you do when you're when there's something wrong with your cat? Please keep those votes coming in. I want to. I want to. We'll check back in about it later. Um, but uh, Google. Uh, no, call your vet uh, is number one, which I think is great. Google comes in second at thirty three percent. Monitor closely, nineteen percent. Why? Watch one of my videos is still chasing the caboose here, but two percent. It's all good. And I'm sure a bunch of you guys um, will, uh, will say that you do a, um, a combination of all these things. Um, so my story is about, uh, I would say, my first cat. And I had been with you know, roommates that had cats or whatever. Uh, as I was packing up, I had just graduated from grad school in Iowa. And I was packing up my car to drive back to New York. And I'm taking a box out and I almost trip over this little kitten sitting on my doorstep, stop, step, like there for me to trip on, you know? And I think at the time he was maybe six weeks old. And I was like, what is a six week old kitten doing? And so I pick him up, put a sign up on a telephone pole uh, within five minutes. Someone's like, oh, that's my kitten. Um, thank you. About a half hour later, he's back there. I do. I go over to the person. I said, "Will you please? He's too young to be out here." Half hour later, he's back out. I'm like, "Okay, he's my cat." <laughs> but I actually left him with a friend of mine who was going to stay there, and she fell in love with him. Her last name was Moses, so his name became Rabbi Rabbi Moses. Within a year, my friend said to me that I, she couldn't keep Rabbi, and I said, "Okay." I'm happy. It actually was like six months. And so uh, Rabbi, um, at that point I was moving. I, I stopped in Iowa for a bit. Then I moved to Colorado. And, um, and, and, I, and he was with me in Colorado. Okay, long story short. Uh, six years later, my boy was huge. He was an obese cat. He was diagnosed with diabetes. Within a year, he was gone. I'm going to let that sink in for a second. A seven-year-old cat is gone from diabetes. Because you would think to yourself, well, we know plenty. Why would, why would that be the case? Now, this was in, uh, let's say it was... 1995 or six, let's call it 1996, seven, anyway, whatever. But the thing is that, that I, I, when he died, I was getting very little help from my vet at the time. 
I mean, we, we here, let me let me run down what happened because now you guys are going to say, wait a minute, we, we know a lot of this stuff. First of all, he was obese because I was feeding him that junky dry food that you get at vet offices. He ballooned to about, I don't know, maybe he was 16 pounds at that point. He comes down with diabetes right on to insulin. He, he becomes resistant to insulin. We tried every type of insulin in the book. He starts having what's called peripheral neuropathy, where basically he starts losing control of his back legs. I get no help there. Um, why isn't the diabetes working? I mean, why isn't the, the insulin working? We have nothing else. He can't get into the litter box anymore. He starts to crash. He's gone. The second I start doing research after the fact, um, I figure out how badly I screwed up. And I was so angry. And I, and I first of all, I misplaced that anger. I blamed my vet. I blamed my vet for everything. My dog blames the vet too. Anyway, so uh, I start learning everything I could about diabetes, determined to, you know, because I was working at a shelter at that point, determined to not let it happen for others. And I learned immediately that what I was feeding my cat helped kill him. And I learned a lot about nutrition. And that's where I met my, my old business partner, Dr. Gene Hobie, who was brilliant and taught me everything I had to know about nutrition. Then I realized that once he was diagnosed, how changing his diet would have helped to save him. So, I mean, it, it would have. In fact, we should have changed his diet to a grain-free, wet, or a raw diet, and getting that bio-appropriate food could have reversed the diabetes without ever putting insulin in his body. There was that, you know, the big ones. And, um, and then all these, you know, alternative therapies that I could, that could have helped him. And, and, it, and that's what leads us to today was rabbi and his passing and what I learned and what I have been passing on, uh, since he passed on for, I, I don't know what it is, 25 years. And that's why I did the poll. And that's why I wanted to talk to you guys about today. And the whole concept is that you can build a community around you. You can, and that community can be here, and it can be Google, and it can be your vet, and it can be friends who have been through it, but whatever it is, you are your cat's best advocate. You are your pet's only advocate, true advocate. And that's what we're going to be talking about. So, um, and thank you for everybody uh, Rabbi is still with me every day because in teaching you, I honor him. And, uh, and, 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 and by the way, by the way, all that misplaced junk has to go away as well. There is no benefit to you or to the memory of someone you might have lost with guilt, with shame, with blame with resentment, reservations. These are unproductive. I'm not to say that, that we all don't go through the stages of, of grieving, but they're unproductive. What's productive is learning and passing on. And, um, and that's why I'm so crazy about food and why I'm so angry that dry food even still exists, to be honest with you. And uh, all that noise you hear about it being good for your cat's teeth and stuff like that, man. I, I mean, uh, I have witnessed so many cats 
who have, who have had diabetes, in rem the, their glucose tests normal once they're on uh, a proper diet. Anyway, this isn't about diabetes, blah, blah, blah. This is about, and I'm trying to read comments at the same time. Uh, I'm... Um, Toddy, toddy, it's not that they put sugar in cat food. It's that, um, and even if some brands sneak it in there, it's not much. It, it's basically because um, dry food breaks down into sugar like that. Um, look, we, we got videos we can link to uh, in the description. We have a three-part series about dry food, wet food, raw food. Um, and, uh, and that's that. Um, but the point is, and here, look at, look at us talking about this now. Granted, back in 1997, there really wasn't all that much in the way of the interwebs, but, um, I, you know, there was information out there. Anyway, the, I, you know, I think that we've all had the experience where we take our animal to the vet and we, it's like we're going to the mountaintop to ask, you know, and and if you've settled on a vet that you love or you uh, really respect the hospital that you go to and you respect what comes out of people, you go, cool, I've got a tool. I've got a tool so I can be my cat's best advocate. And that's what I, I just want to let that sink in because I think too many of us have not ever questioned what comes out of the mouth of somebody who uh, is an authority. And by the way, that includes me. Well, only 2% of you seem to. <laughs> I'm going to go back. I, I want to see the, the where we are with the poll again. By the way, again, if you guys haven't taken the poll, it really does help make a point here. So uh, go to YouTube. You'll see the community post um, and just vote. Let me see what you have to say. Um, and, uh, here we go again. Let's go back there just one quick time. Um, and let's see what you guys have to say. All right. Still holding closely. I think that we're pretty much where we're going to be. Um, but my point in doing that, by the way, in making this poll was to sneaky way say that all of these things, uh, turn you into your cat's best advocate. Um, so, uh, and, and, and so I hope you understand what I'm saying is like, for instance, I bet you, and I'm, I, I'm trying to keep up by the way, with, um, all of the comments. Um, but, um, but I bet you there's a lot of you guys who are like, wait a minute, you know, stop, you know, going off on, on prescription diets, for instance. That's cool because that discussion that's happening here, I guarantee you will lead you to Googling and, and seeing what you can get out of there or watching one of my videos or talking to your vet, or whatever it is. And then you get to make a decision based on that. That is advocacy. And uh, that is guardianship. Bam, that is guardianship. That is being a parent. This is what I've learned over the years. And, and, and I got to tell you that as that sunk in after Rabbi passed and, and, and um, it was so liberating, you know, it was so liberating. It could be uh, you guys. No, that's not the case. It could be that you have to subscribe to the channel to take the poll. I'm not sure about that, uh, but you should subscribe anyway. So, um, anyway. Uh, Okay, so by the way, I've missed a bunch of Super Chats and members. Lindsay, do you have any of those guys? What are you pointing to? Oh, oh, you're saying one minute. Uh, thank you so much, Pamela J. Miller, for becoming a Mojo Knot um, and supporting this channel. Thank you so very much. Um, I am sure there's plenty more of you guys who have been Super Chatting, and I do thank you so much for um, Louise Horst, welcome new Mojo Nods. Um, and don't forget, you will be getting bonus footage um, today, I believe, uh, or this week. Anyway, um, 
uh, there's Proxima. My God, you absolutely, uh, you honor, I am honored every time you help me out like this. That Thank you so, so very much, Proxima. Um, Aquavision asked about, Aquavision, it's on the channel. We've got two different installments of me absolutely flopping my way through, <laughs> through, that, through, <laughs> through that game. Every time I watch even a piece of that, I'm like, oh my God, I'm so old. Uh, Freya, um, thank you so much for becoming a member as well. Um, uh, so I do. I would love to open this up, uh, but that said, we don't have a whole lot of time today. So I, I wanted to make sure that I'm saying what I'm saying, uh, that only you can save your cat's life. When time, when the time comes and something is happening, thank you, Angela. Love you. Thank you so much. Um, then you need to step up and learn everything you can. And your vet will help you for sure. I mean, we've had so much cancer run through this house in the past six years. My God, it's been a lot. British short hair. Thank you so much. Um, and we had an amazing oncologist. We found this oncologist that we said, oh, we trust this man. And he taught us and we go back and we learn. And, um, and we were able to advocate for all of our cats and dogs who um, were going through um, cancer, you know? Um, Cheryl Sprague. Cheryl, um, but again, look into it. Having your cat's teeth cleaned is important. But you may hear that it has to happen every six months. I've actually heard that before, which is complete horse. I'm going to say it. It's crap. You know, a couple every couple of years, I say is good. But you do have to get it done one way or another. It's the price of being a cat guardian. Your your vet may help you out. Um, there, uh, you know, it's one other reason to get uh, cat insurance, cat insurance, pet insurance. Uh, I do believe it's a really important part of this, um, you, know, you know, whether you and I am not I am, you know, I'm not giving you grief for your finances, but whether you get insurance or every month stuff 10 bucks in your mattress, it doesn't matter um, that day will come where you need it. And that's, again, part of advocacy. Um, Emily Sullivan, thank you for becoming a, a Mojo Knot. Wow, we got a lot of people Mojo Knotting today, uh, which again makes me so very happy. And uh, I mean, just because it's great, we're building this great uh, community on Discord, uh, which we, by the way, you're going to hear a lot more about the Discord channel. We're doing some cool stuff over there. Um, uh, for all of you guys who were back in the Twitch days, uh, a, a sort of return to the twitchiness is going to be coming. Not on Twitch, I'm, I'm off, but but on YouTube. So stand by for that. Um, wow, there's a lot of stuff going on. Karen Hobson, thank you for becoming a member. Um, but anyway, uh, yes, those of you asking about the Mojo Not link uh, to become Mojo Not, right? If you're on YouTube, right next to the subscribe button is a join button. There you go. Um, so anyway, um, right on. Uh, so listen, I had to give you the long and short of everything. It's just so important. Everybody here, I am sure so many of you guys, um, have, uh, stories to tell about this and, uh, you in Mojo Not Land, uh, head over to discord and, and let us know what those stories are. We, by the way, are a hub for advocacy. Um, one of the things that's such a beautiful thing, especially on YouTube when you think about it, where there's so many trolls, so many people who just want to knock people down. And if you look at the comments in most of our videos, never, you never see that. I mean, now I'm not going to invite it, but, but, uh, but you, you rarely see it. You see people who want to help other people. 
and who want people to learn from their experiences. And uh, Candice, thank you for becoming a Mojo Knot. Um, Karen, just off to the side, freeze dried, freeze dried raw. Yeah, your cat gets the crunchy, which is great. They get raw food, which is great. They also need water. That's important. Diabetes, kidney problems, flutie, uh, so many cystitis, so many reasons why you just want to keep fluids going through your cat. So even if you do the freeze dried, make that a compliment to something wet. Um, Shen, thank you for becoming a mojo knot as well. Wow. We did some mojo nodding today, and that makes me very happy. Thank you, guys. It also makes me happy just to relay the story about Rabbi. That's really what I wanted to do because I want you, when you get off here, if your cat is experiencing something, everything that's on that pole right now, go do all of it. Um, because you will feel, when you go to make that decision, what's next for my cat, you will feel like, that's right, I know. Because I'm my cat's parent, and I know what's best to them. Um, and Lindsay, uh, who is, uh, one of, who is our super duper mod and member of my team, um, everybody throw out some thoughts for her. Um, her cat dash is going through some serious stuff right now, heading back to the hospital. Um, you'll never meet more of a, a huge advocate, uh, and an example of what we talk about than Lindsay. So a little bit of love for her, you guys. Um, thank you, Jessica, for joining up. Um, and uh, and man, she asks everybody. She talks to everybody. Filters it through the Lindsay matrix, and makes the best decision she can for Dash. So um, anyway, uh, Rocker Dude six six six. Welcome in, Rocker Dude. You know what, man? Have, having having cat dads on board is always a beautiful thing as well. Um, all right, dudes, I am, uh, speaking of dudes, I am going to have to leave you in just a minute. Um, got some other stuff going on today. We have a contest winner uh, from one of our contests here a couple of weeks ago, and he um, is uh, having a private Zoom with me because he won the prize. Yeah, let me just make sure, here's the funny thing. I had this outline. <laughs> Totally went out the window. Um, no, I did all right. Um, I do want to mention a couple of things. We have um, a link to a video. Uh, there's going to be a link to a couple of videos, but the really important one is uh, it's, it's um, I don't remember the name of it, but it's about red flags. If you look at the, uh, the thumbnail, you'll see red flags, but it's all about um, uh, symptoms and is it behavioral? Is it physical? Is it both? Who do I talk to? So everything we're talking about is in there. Also, I would be remiss not to talk about, you know, I, when we talk about modalities, I, um, I make uh, uh, flower essence remedies. Uh, we have over 30 of them in our store. Um, Dr. Jean Hovey, who I was talking about before, uh, uh, she and I created this line. Uh, so it was the first line of holistic remedies made by a vet and a behavior consultant. And we've been uh, using them as complementary therapy for 30 years. Crazy, right? Um, and so, you know, if you see, you'll see remedies like you are fine, which is for urinary tract health. And if you're doing everything, good diet, staying close with your vet, medications if you need it, um, and, and uh, acupuncture, and all these things, or you pick a leaf off the tree, um, I would love for you to consider flower essence uh, solutions uh, as being a part of that. So, and yes, someone just said that, Aaron, we also make a, uh, uh, a, uh, a B12 solution as well. Like a, it is B12 um, and B12 is amazing for so many different things from, from you know, supporting seniors uh, to pancreatitis, cystitis, Check it out. All right, everybody. Um, so once again, join, become a Mojo Knot. Thank you to all the people who Mojo Knotted today. Thank you for all the people. Wow. Who? Jerry. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Jerry, if, if you uh, go to greatergoodcharities.com, 
or it could be just greatergood.com. I think it's greatergoodcharities.com or get there by going to Jackson Galaxy. It's not .com, it's .org. And uh, also go to, um, yes, greatergoodcharities.org. Or you go to jacksongalaxyproject.org and you'll find out more about that. But thank you for your support. Um, there it is, greatergoodcharities.org. Um, over 300 videos on my YouTube channel, which talk about resources, solutions. Um, I would say almost every question that's coming in here is in one of those videos. I, I've written four books to help you guys get through a lot of this stuff, but I am just a resource. And you are more than welcome to say that I'm full of poop. <laughs> Um, because you will become informed and you'll have an opinion and you'll have a point of view. Then you'll go to your bed and they'll say something. We may contradict each other, which will send you to Google where you'll find five people who say the same thing and say it in an intelligent way. Okay, no, I got that now. I found some products that, that, that may help me. That makes you an advocate. That makes you their best advocate. And, um, uh, and that's all we're talking about today. So advocate um, and go out there and uh, do, do your best for your, for, your, for your rabbis. That sounded really weird. I take that back. Uh, for your animal family members. Um, and please put things in the, uh, into the comment section of the YouTube channel. Um, if you're on Facebook, let's talk about it there as well. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's it for me. Much love to you guys. Sorry that I couldn't keep up with the comments as much as I wanted to. I was too busy talking and drinking coffee, which makes me happy. Uh, uh, we got a bunch of people asking for the discord link. You will get the discord link. I believe the minute you sign up to be a Mojo not the discord is a, uh, a space for Mojonauts, to put that briefly. Uh, mm. All right. Love to everybody. Have a wonderful cat day. Wherever you are in the world, put some love on your cat, on your dog, on your human, and, um, and stay safe. All right. Much love, everybody. Light, love, and mojo.